Hey everybody, it's Candy, aka Brown Eye Girl 69. How y'all doing this afternoon? Well, one reason why I'm not showing my face at this given moment in time is because the area that's in the camera view right now, I'm getting ready to go work over there in that area and do a few things over in this area. And I started thinking as I started kind of preparing, doing it already earlier, that I was like, you know, I could be over here doing some stuff and talking at the same time. So let me get the camera ready. And in the meantime, me getting the camera ready and doing what I'm doing, I kind of, you know, cruised over to Booby Tooby Land real quick just to see what was going on there. And it's like, eh, no, thanks. I'll do my own thing today. So if you hear my voice fluctuate or see me go off camera, it's just because I'm doing stuff around my apartment today. Um, in the mood to do some cleaning and some organizing and... Usually when I'm in the cleaning and organizing stage, sometimes I'll talk to myself or I listen to music or whatever. So I just figured, well, I'll just go ahead and do this, you know. And my camera only runs for 25 minutes anyway. I don't think I'll go that long, but I do have some things on my mind, that's for sure. I'm still smoking out of Jerry's bags. I have tried each strain that was, you know, that I got, but I haven't done a review on the Jello Gelato or the Runch yet. But I definitely like this cherry smash. And I did research on all of them, and they're all 50 50, so there isn't one that's more stronger than the other. They're all exactly 50-50, and I think that's why I like them so much, and can't decide which one's my favorite, because they all hit me in the cerebral area where I need it sometimes, and then it also hits me in my body region where I need it. So yeah, it's all good. Um, I guess while I'm sitting here, I'll show you. This is the area. Okay, so this is like my general area here. And then I got a desk up here with all these like crystals and stones and pyramids and whatnot. Incense, sage sticks. I got this table. It's inside. It doesn't have anything. And then I got the top to it right over there. But basically this is my little room. There is my little closet. Um, I got space up on the top. But... I'm not tall enough to get up there. I can barely reach where my towels are and the other stuff that's up there. So that's about my limit. Uh, if I was maybe a couple of inches taller, then I might be able to put stuff up there. And then I have stuff down there in those totes. Um, then like, that's one of my clothes totes, which is just like my socks and underwear. Uh, the one that's sitting on top of the green tote that has some stuff in it that I need to go through. And then I have some just like other stuff stored on the other side of there. But I have everything, I have something in all of these drawers, you know. Or, or, you know, just because. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing some organizing and some cleaning, so, and talking. And I grabbed a couple of things on notes. That I've taken, taken over the course of the last month or so. So I'll stick those in my pocket because you never know. I might get a thought and say, hmm. Okay. Here we go. Speedy. All right. So I guess basically what all started this for me today was the fact that I've got stuff that needs to be cleaned and stored and um, I got a lot of agate slices. Um, that's what they are, these agate slices is what I'm cleaning right now. Kind of trying to dust off. Now, just because I'm dusting them and storing them away doesn't necessarily mean that 
these are the ones that are going, you know, to leave me or anything. It just means that um, I'm just cleaning and storing them because they're doing nothing but honestly collecting dust. If I'm not utilizing them, you know, they're more of a just a pretty at this point in time. I guess that's what I would consider that. And these items that I have are all beautiful in their own way, you know. And they all do have an energy to them, I would say. You know, but I don't necessarily hone in on that um, thing, really. Um, I think I bought these more of an impulsive by and that's another thing um, that I've learned in my life looking back on everything taking responsibility I suppose it is back when I was given the opportunity to <laughs> well I was basically given an opportunity with money and I feel like I blew it in a lot of ways because of where I am now, you know, but I can't look back and say, uh, what if this, what if that, that's basically what I'm learning right now, but I'm also learning that I'm aware of it. So like if I do happen to come into, um, some sort of instantaneous money, uh, a sum of money. Um, then I'm definitely going to be try to be more aware of it and not make the same mistakes. Again, you know. This is kind of a cool little item. This is a selenite charging stick, which I will not be parting with because it, it naturally stays charged and you can charge multiple stones or crystals at once with this thing. It's awesome. Now I do have another, I have a wand here and it's a chakra wand as well with Sanskrit written in on it. Mm, I really like it. It's pretty, but I don't utilize it, you know? That's the problem with some of this stuff. Like I said, some of this stuff is all impulsive. It's, um, you know, I'm going to go and talk about it while I'm talking about it. Might as well. It's like it's a spirit coming through telling me, oh, you're going to talk about it. You might as well talk about it. All this stuff that you see me with right here, it's all based off of new agey stuff. And, you know, for a long time, when I first came out of religion, I had a lot of people tell me, Candy, you're new age, you're new age. I'm like, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. Well, it's been 15 years since I woke up. And I never got into the practice heavily of using tarot cards. Or um, I never got into the practice heavily of um, using a pendulum or anything like that, okay? But I always was fascinated by stones and crystals um, and things of that nature. So that's more of what I gravitate towards. And I think uh, Daryl called me a collector a long time ago, and it's true. I am a collector. I am a collector of many things. But it seems like I don't collect people, but I collect items 
Um, but I'm not a hoarder and I'm not a, you know, at one point in time when me and Daryl was together before we went houseless and I lost all my stuff in storage. Um, I had a lot of items. Um, but it seemed like all the items that I had were like, like I had a collection of watches. I had a collection of uh, purses. Um, different types of purses, even though I wasn't really much of a purse person. Um, I had collected purses. Um, I given, I had wallets, all sorts of different types of wallets. Um, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy all the stuff I had. And so when we moved to Colorado, um, I had a chance to really organize and, you know, get rid of stuff before we actually moved to Colorado. Um, and I did. I donated a whole bunch of stuff when we, right before we left here in Oklahoma. A friend of mine with a trailer and everything came down and picked up the stuff. Because uh, I donated furniture as well as like books and just all sorts of items. Uh, wall hanging photos, etc, etc. And right now, if you don't see me on camera, what I'm doing is I'm over here standing in front of the desk. Basically just dusting off some items. Um, smaller items. Looking at my space that I have left over there. Trying to decide what I'm going to put in there. But I think one of the reasons why I'm trying to decide what I'm going to put in there is based off the space. Uh, I, well, though, I was just picking random items to stick in there now I'm gonna have to be more selective of what I decide to put in there anyway I consider a lot of this stuff new age you know it's kind of weird because in the Bible or in Christianity they always you know there's different sects and different beliefs in Christianity and all religions really um but in Christianity, one sect believes that you should have to do something in order to get to heaven. And then in some other parts of Christianity, they are, they're like, no, you don't have any work. You don't need to do any works or whatever, right? Well, then comes along this new idea of, well, we don't really, we are the, our own leader. We're, you know... Uh, we're all one, we're energy, blah, 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 which, you know, I'm not saying that none of it's not true. What I'm saying is people will take off with these ideas and make it into something that it's not, or make you believe that you got to do something, because this is the experience they had, so... You've got to do this in order to have this kind of experience. And honestly, I don't believe that because we're all individuals. We might have the same creative energy inside of us flowing through our veins or whatnot that gives life to the vessel that we obtain. Um, but as far as believing that we have to do something specific in this life, in order to um, achieve something in the next life, which we don't even know what the next life is. I mean, if people aren't even in tune and in touch with themselves in this life, why the hell are they even thinking about the next life? It's like work on yourself in the here and the now, the moment, because that's all we have. You know, so many people focus on doing things for future purposes. And I guess that's a good thing to be, you know, kind of goal-minded, etc., etc. I don't think that I was ever truly a goal-minded kind of person. I've always sort of been a free-spirited kind of gal. Um, I didn't like being put into one category or another uh, as a child growing up. Um, 
I knew who I was. And it definitely wasn't what they were trying to push off on me. You know? And, uh... So it goes down too. Who am I? I'm Candy. <laughs> you know, when people say, Oh, who are you? I'm Candy. Who are you? How are you? Nice to meet you, you know? How's your day going? You know, are you having a beautiful day? Or are you having a glummy day? You know? Because life is what you make it. Like right now, I'm in the midst of cleaning. I'm in the midst of looking through this stuff going, hmm, what should I put in there? Um, my pest control people are coming tomorrow too. That's another thing I just kind of want to, not that I'm cleaning enough to impress anyone, but the dust was starting to get kind of thick over here. And the only way to really clean it properly is to do as you see me doing. I guess what I could do is empty this table off into there. I do have a lot of incense stuff. I have some cones, um, some incense matches. Matchstick intentions. I got some homemade incense uh, that was given to me, um, which I utilize every now and then. Every now and then, when I feel like I really need a cleansing in this house, I utilize it because it's strong, you know, and I have to open up. The windows and I got two main windows in the front of the house. So let's so call her and put in there. Oh why not with some windows? Yeah, I got a little cauldron. Yeah, some witch. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always said I'm a hippie gypsy, witchy. That's just more of my attitude. That doesn't necessarily mean that I do those practices or anything of that nature. You know what I mean? It's more of my attitude. I'm just more of a hippie gypsy witchy kind of gal, you know? I just, I like witchy stuff. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean I like doing the witchy stuff. Even though I guess in a way I kind of do do the witchy stuff in a roundabout way. <sighs> without realizing it when I burn the stuff, but it's not like I sit here and, you know, conjure up spells or anything like that, you know. That's silly. That's nonsense. You know. And some of the things that I'm seeing being talked about on Booby Tooby Streets and stuff today, Kind of just made me turn my nose up and decide to come on here and do my own thing and share, maybe not share with you folks, you know. But I will say this <sighs> uh, yeah, no, there's pro. Uh, I feel a shift and a change going on and happening. And, um, it's really weird. I've witnessed over the last couple of years me being more active on YouTube. The, the changes of the groups, um, that, and people, circles, I should say. The circles of people have changed, um, in the last two years from the main group that I started out um in circle with a circle um most of those people are still doing their own thing you know um uh, every week or whatever uh and they're cool but then it seems like there's a new set of people that flow into that group and then flow out and and then the some other groups seem to flow into some it's really weird how some people just started intermixing people you never would think With intermixed, intermixed. And then also people that you think 
would never do you wrong or just quit talking to you for no reason. Whatever happened, but you know what? Life goes on. And life's all about what you make it. And life is about the here, the now, the moment. You know? Yeah. I really do have a lot of stuff. I got so much stuff. So I need to get rid of it. I need to sell some of this stuff. Seriously. I mean, I guess I could pick up the phone over here. Bring it around. Oh shit, I've been going 20 minutes. Oh my god. Alright, well I think I'm going to get off here because I'm really like... <sighs> high and whatnot and just hey at least I started making some steps in the right direction so I guess while I'm uploading this video <laughs> what will happen will be I'm going to continue to do some cleaning but at least it gave me some inspiration you know to continually do what I'm doing Cleaning it all up. Probably after I get everything dusted um, and cleaned and reorganized and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I'll probably sage this place. Open up some windows and maybe burn up one of those three Wiseman joints or something. It's not a joint. It's a instant joint, but it's instant. It's not weed anyways uh it's 22 minutes into the video so i'm gonna say much love peace love hugs nugs smoke it if you got it and uh we'll catch you on the next go around and until then youtubers i'm out